In this video, we are going to learn how to solve linear equation in MATLAB. So without doing any delay, let's get started. So we'll write CLC and clear all in initial two lines. Now what do we do? We'll write two equations using variable x and y and then we'll solve these two equations for x and y. So let's say our equation number one is this. So these are the two equations which we want to solve. So what are the two variables that we are using in this equation? The variables are x and y. So here first we'll declare that those are the symbolic variables and the command used for that is SYMS. So we'll write SYMS x and y. So here we are declaring that this x and y are the symbolic variables. Later I will tell you what is the significance of writing this line, right? But first let's finish the code. So we have defined two equations and now we are going for the command using which we are going to solve these equations. The command for that is solve. So let's write solution. Solution is equal to so this is the command or this is the function which is inbuilt in MATLAB to solve the linear equations. So now we'll write our equation. This is equation 1. We want to solve two equations, right? So we'll write equation 1 and equation 2. Bracket over. So in matrix form we are giving equation 1 and equation 2. Now it's time for variables and what are the variables that we want to solve? These are x and y. So we want to solve this equation for x and y. So we have defined the variables bracket over. So this line gives us this solution. I don't want to suppress the output so I'll just remove this and now let's run this program. Now here the output is in structure array format but we don't want to observe because in structure array format we can't see what is the answer. So in order to display the answer what we'll do, uh, we'll suppress it and now we'll write disp. Disp is basically a command used to display the output or display anything. So what do we want to display? Our answer is stored in solution, right? So we'll write solution. And there are two components of that variable x and y. So what we'll do? We'll write sol.x bracket over and we'll write sol.y bracket over. And now let's again run it. And now here you will be able to see this is the solution of x and this is the solution of y. Now let me show you what if we do not define this x and y as variable. So if we just remove this line and make it comment, let's see what's the problem. So when we do not define this x and y as symbolic variables, MATLAB by default take it as a normal variable. And when you do not define any variable in MATLAB, it will create error. So that is why you will get these type of errors when you do not define this x and y as symbolic variables. So now let's remove this and again solve this. And there it is, you will get your solution. If you want to discuss anything with me or if you want to download any of the file which I have shown in MATLAB tutorial, then join me on my Telegram page, Telegram group. At there you can discuss with me, you can share your problems and you can even download these files. Now what we'll do, instead of these two variables, we'll use three variables. So what we'll do, we'll just copy this code and we'll paste it and here we'll first define sims x, y, n, z. So we are going to use three variables. In this equation, we'll add another variable. Let's say minus 9, z and in here plus 5, Z. We'll write equation 3. So here we have written three equations and here we have three variables. So we'll update this thing. Here we'll add equation number 3 and here we'll add another variable Z. We want to see Z variable also. So we'll copy this. 
paste it and change solution dot z now let's run this section so you will have the solution of x y and z so these are the solution of three variables x y and z after this linear equation it's time to go for non-linear algebraic equation and for that you just jump to this video and if you are interested in solving ordinary differential equation then jump into this video so see you in next video